Hi folks, it's Thor. Thanks for joining me today on my daily shave. Welcome. As you can see today, I have about five or six days worth of growth. Um, the days have been getting away from me and I haven't really been able to dedicate any time to get a good shave in. So normally what I would do is one of two things. The first being grabbing my most aggressive razor and blade and giving myself a one pass today and then I would go back to my regular routine of shaving starting tomorrow. Uh, the other thing I would do would be to grab all my favorite gear and have myself a nice relaxing pampering shave which is what I'm going to do today. Everything that I'm using today is among my favorite items. Uh, from the soap to the razor to the blade, the brush, um, everything ranks the same 9.75. Um, again, a lot of you will ask, well, if it's all my favorite things, why wouldn't I give it a 10? I like to leave some, roof, uh, some room for improvement, and uh, you never know when either a formula will be made better. Uh, maybe um, for the brushes, maybe uh, they'll come out with some new synthetic fibers or something like that. So I do always like to leave a little bit of room for improvement. <clears throat> Today's soap we're going to be using is Man from Mayfair. Uh, it's one of my very, very favorite soaps uh, in my top three, if not my very favorite. <clears throat> um, Man from Mayfair is a uh, barbershop scent. Uh, it's got bergamot, basil, um, uh, oak moss, uh, patchouli. It's got some musk. And uh, overall, it's a barbershop scent. Uh, Holy Cow offers it as a barbershop scent. And uh, it is one of my favorites. As you can see, I'm almost finished with the tub, and I'm really looking forward to getting myself a new one. <clears throat> Just wetting my brush here before I show it to you, so I can start a load. Uh, the brush we're going to be using today is the West Coast Shaving uh, Ancient Stone Collection uh, Red Jasper brush. And we're just going to go right in here for a load. Okay, just trying to get some soap on that brush. Going back and forth, round and circle one way and the other. Okay, it's a little bit dry. You can always add just a couple drops of water to help load that up a little bit better. All right, there we go. Brush is nice and pasty. Nice quick load. Okay, let's wet the face and start up with a face lather. If you're new to shaving and you're able to go a couple days without a shave, I'd recommend doing so. <clears throat> uh, you'll find that uh, once your hairs get a little bit longer, it's a little bit easier to plot the direction of the growth. Uh, as you can see, mine kind of grows uh, down and away from my mouth, like that. <clears throat> and that'll just help you decide which way to go when you're doing your with the grain, against the grain, uh, or across the grain passes. Okay, so I'm just going to start to apply some of the soap to my face. Once I have a nice base, I'll start to hydrate the soap. <clears throat> See if we can get a nice lather built. This formulation of Holy Cow's Man from Mayfair uh, is made with donkey milk, and um, donkey milk really lends itself to a very cushiony and uh, very voluminous lather, okay? And Holy Cow is known for being a thirsty soap, and what that means is we're going to be able to add a lot of water here. 
while we're making this lather to get it exactly the way we like it. Okay, what I'm doing to add water is just running my sink for a moment, letting that porcelain get wet, and then just dabbing my brush on those wet parts. With a thirsty soap like this, I can be a little bit more generous and really just paint the water on right now, and then just go back to agitating. Okay, that feels really nice. Starting to get nice and hydrated. You can see as I'm building this lather, it's starting to accumulate here on my neck. So I can just paint that off and reapply it up on my cheeks. I think we're almost there. We'll just get a little bit more water. And I think we're just about good to go here. Just a little bit more on this side. Now, as you start to build your own lathers, you'll start to develop your own taste as far as how hydrated you like it, how thick you like it, <clears throat> how cushiony you make it. Um, but for the amount of growth that I have, I want something thick and cushiony for this first pass. My next subsequent passes we can <clears throat> hydrate a little bit more but uh, for the first one I'd like a lot of protection so again <clears throat> I'll be using all my favorite gear today uh, so the blade we're going to be using is the Astra SP uh, Astra Superior Platinum some people call it Astra Green I already have that loaded up into my Rockwell 6C C is for chrome and I have it set on the four plate. One of the things I really love about this razor um, is for a pretty inexpensive price point, you can get yourself six different razors. It comes with six plates, and depending on how you mix and match them, you can get yourself a really nice shave. <clears throat> so I'm starting off on the four plate here, placing right on my sideburn. And starting with these nice, easy downward strokes. Now, like I said, I have about five or six days of growth. And so I'm not really worried about taking off all the hair on my first pass. Uh, it's okay to leave some behind. What we're really going for is hair reduction with each pass. That's why we do multiple passes. And right at the bottom of my neck, my hair grows upwards. So right there, upwards is with the grain. So the reason why I went with all my favorite items today um, 
with this five or six days of hair growth is that um, I have a pretty sensitive skin and my beard is pretty coarse. So I do have to make sure I'm removing the hair, but I don't want to get something so aggressive that <clears throat> we end up with a bloodbath or with a lot of irritation. Okay, this first pass. That looks, had some irritation there before we started. Uh, I don't think it's bleeding. Looks like it's still just irritated. And I get that um, when I don't shave often, the hair on my neck <clears throat> will uh, irritate me when I fold my, my rolls over, so. <clears throat> Okay, first pass down. Okay, second pass. I have a lot of the soap off, or I'm, I should say, yeah, I've taken a lot of the whiskers off already. So, <clears throat> for my second pass, I'm just gonna paint on. Seems pretty hydrated. Uh, the water that I have here is medium, tending towards slightly, slightly soft. So I'm usually able to get a nice lather, um, which I do have this time. Yeah, just painting that on for my second pass. Okay, again with the four plate. Start going upward again since my whiskers grow away from my mouth and nose. Upward is somewhat across the grain, except for right under my goatee here. I have to go across for across the grain. Everything else is upward. bottom for the second pass I go downward and slightly away from center and second pass down very nice okay just to wash off some of this excess soap and for my third pass what I'm going to do is going to flip the plate from the number four to the number two. Okay, this is just a slightly milder shave for me. And if I'm ever worried about getting any irritation um, or when I'm shaving after a few days, I like to just switch it down so I have a little bit smoother shave after um, during the last pass. And uh, as always, just talking through here because I like to give my face a little, little, little bit of a rest between that second and third pass. Okay, so I'm just extracting a little bit of the soap out of the brush and then applying it. Since my skin is sensitive, a lot of times I'll just do a cleanup pass as my third pass, but this has been very smooth. And so we're going to go with a full third pass. Let's rinse out that brush. 
Again, just giving my face a little bit of time to rest between the second and third pass. I'll just squeeze that, shake it out, and just dry off the bristles a little bit and hang it up to dry. Okay, for the third pass, we're going to go um, mostly against the grain. It's going to be straight towards my beard, a little bit up over here. And with that two plate, it should be nice and smooth for me, which it is. Very nice. All right, so that's third pass down. <clears throat> At this point, I'll always wash my face with warm water. Get that extra, uh, extra soap off my face. This will open up my pores in preparation for what's to come next, which and most of my shaves will be the application of some witch hazel. So today we're going to be using Thayer's Lemon. And this is to clean out those pores. You always want to have a nice uh, cleansing and post routine. After all, we did just rub <clears throat> razor blade up against our face for three passes. So <clears throat> uh, it'll be nice to just let this cool off uh, and dry off for me for a minute. So just to review what we've done so far, we've uh, done a Man from Mayfair shave uh, by Holy Cow. This is the donkey milk formula. We've used the Astra SP in the Rockwell 6C, that's the chrome. And uh, we started off on the four plate for the first two passes. And for the last pass, we switched it over to the two plate. <clears throat> okay, finally, uh, we've applied some Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel to clean out the pores and while we were putting everything away, we let that dry off on the face. Now that it's mostly dry, I'm going to switch over to a cold wash, a cold rinse. Let me get that witch hazel off the face. And close those pores up for the final step in today's shave, which is gonna be a splash. Pat that dry, and today's splash is going to be Clubman Panade. Again, it's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, aftershave. And just like everything else in today's shave, it gets a 9.75. Uh, 9.75. Oh, feels great. Not too much feedback from the alcohol. I'm feeling a little bit, maybe right here, a none on the neck. 
And uh, I always attribute that to two things, a smooth shave and that cold water rinse at the end. <clears throat> Well, folks, with that, our shave is concluded. Thanks again for joining me on today's Daily Shave, and uh, hope to see you all again soon.